Hey guys, Brady from Pure Automotive, uh, back with another video about our LS swap package. Um, if you missed our first video, check it out on our channel. We basically went over uh, everything that we took out of this car uh, from the old way of doing LS swaps to change it over to our uh, Motec M130 plug and play package. Uh, it's a similar package to our 2JZ platform package, um, also in one of our other videos. Uh, just check it out on our channel and it kind of goes over the 2JZ version of it, but this is the LSX version This car was sitting around for about a year. I gave it a bath today. It's looking pretty good um, It's an LS2 T56 uh, manual trans This particular one has a built motor. Uh, it's going to be supercharged uh, within the coming weeks, but for now it's just a 403 stroker, uh, shorty headers, uh, custom exhaust, uh, nothing crazy. It makes around 400 wheel horsepower just on the motor. Uh, we'll be shooting for between six and seven with the supercharger kit in the coming weeks. But let's talk about the swap kit. So just like in the 2JZ package, everything works just as it would in a stock car. Hop in, turn the key on, fuel gauge immediately works, uh, as you'll see coolant gauge works, uh, RPM gauge will work, uh, power steering will work. Uh, this car is going to have ABS and traction lights because it does have an aftermarket sparker steering wheel on it, which eliminated the clock spring, so ignore those. Those would normally not be on with the factory steering wheel. So if you watched our last video, um, this should probably look quite a bit different. Um, starting over here, we don't have that auxiliary fuse box just kind of dangling on the battery anymore or any uh, wires that had to run off of the factory uh, plug in the back there. Instead, it's neatly tucked away. Um, we only use one wire off of it and that's actually um, just for starting the car. Um, everything else goes through this main loom here. Um, it's one big harness, goes to both sides. Um, it's customizable for different map sensors, injectors, uh, coils. We can, we can cater it to you know whatever you have on your LS motor. We have a pretty standard set that we use on most of them, but it's definitely changeable. Uh, as with all of our harnesses, um, you're going to have an integrated option to run a uh, fuel pressure sensor, which this car is going to have when we switch over to the supercharger. Um, integrated flex fuel plug uh, for running E85 mixtures. Um, there's plenty more options you can add coolant pressure, uh, oil pressure. Um, it just depends on uh, what you want to run with your setup. There's a limited amount of inputs and outputs, so that's the only thing that you may run into is if you want to run every single sensor, you may have to 
knock one or two off the list, but for the most part, it's pretty much whatever you want to do with it. Um, we're really excited about this setup. Uh, we just finally got it uh, installed into the car and uh, got everything set up the way we want it this week. Um, there's some more changes in store for this car, um, but we wanted to make a video and let everybody know um, that the basic kit does work uh, and give you some of the highlights of it. Um, another thing which we haven't actually shown in any of our videos is uh, the, the tuning port. Um, it's a simple, zoom in on it there, just a standard cable. Um, it goes right into the side of your laptop, um, as with any uh, MoTeX setup. Um, the software is extremely customizable. Um, there's a large amount of uh, options you can do with it. Um, we supply a base map with the car just to get it running, but anyone who can tune a MoTeX M1 uh, can tune your car. Um, you can set it up for different varying uh, kinds of traction control. Uh, there's tons of engine protection, parameter based. Um, it's a, it's really is probably the best ECU you can get for the car. Thanks for watching this video guys. Um, if you haven't seen our other videos, make sure you check out uh, the before video for this car, uh, our 2JZ swap video. We have a couple of those. Um, these kits are ready for order. Um, lead time is generally four to six weeks, um, mainly because we have to have the harness made it, um, to order. Uh, we don't just have them sitting around since there's so many different options. If you have any questions, um, email us pureautomotiveperformance at gmail.com. Um, we don't always get a chance to answer messages on YouTube, um, so email is the best way. Um, any questions, concerns, you know, will this work for my setup, just, just send us an email um, and we'll get back to you ASAP. To order yours, email us at pureautomotiveperformance at gmail.com.